Hey y'all, I had a good number of inquiries about what I used for bait in my last video. We caught a bunch of snook and a bunch of redfish, and believe it or not, almost every single fish in that video was caught on the exact same bait, rigged the exact same way. And I'm about to show you how. So believe it or not, all those fish were actually caught on a pinfish. If you're not familiar with what a pinfish is, it's one of these guys. Right, there's your pinfish. Yeah, there's multiple ways that you can rig a pinfish. If I'm hooking them through the nose, I'm doing nostril to nostril straight through just like that. That keeps your pinfish nice and lively. When he's in the water, he swims around like crazy. There you go. One of my favorite, next favorite way to hook them is just above the anal gland, right like that. And that makes them go nuts. As you can see, he's flopping all over the place. They hate it. They make a lot of vibrations in the water, but they swim around like crazy. So, here's the answer. I cut their tail off. Just right in front of the fin, right about here. Give them a slice. Cut that tail completely off. Just put that hook just in front of where you cut off. Just like that. Now, I have seen a lot of tutorial videos where they show cutting the fish all the way up here. That kills your fish. So you don't want to cut that high. Cut right in front of that tail, wherever it meets the body. Makes them bleed like crazy. They'll put a huge scent trail in the water, but as you can see, he stays alive. And when I put him in the water, look at that. He's still alive. He's making all kinds of noise, but he's not going to be able to swim away. He just stays there and puts around and makes all kinds of vibrations in the water and makes lots of blood. That, my friends, is the rig that caught all those fish. Let's give it a try. Ugh. Fish on, fish on. All right. There you have it. Nice little red fish. About 24 inches. Caught on a cut pin fish. Just like I showed you. Just let him go. All right, here we go. Got another one. Let's see if it works. This guy's really nervous. 
He is, just got eaten. Got him. Snook. Hello. Broke the line. Right, let's get another one. Here we go. And if you see too, I'm free lining these. So I got just a hook, no sinker, no float. That's 20 pound fluorocarbon and a two watt circle hook. That's all you need. Anything more than that and they might scare off the bite. Lay one more bait in there, do this for a couple more minutes, see what happens. Got him. No. Oh yeah, he's there. That's a big fish. <laughs> Nice snook. Ooh, baby. Hopefully you don't get tangled up in this other rod. Keep it right to bloom. You don't want to get them cut off. Ah! Got me on the barnacles. That was a big snook. That was a nice snook. Makes me want to cry. All right, I'm gonna run one more bait for a little bit. And then I'm gonna take it in and go get something to eat. I'm kind of hungry. All right, that's it. I'm going home. I want to eat. I want to hug my babies. Call it a day. Free food. Hope you had fun. Hope you learned something. Subscribe, like, share, you know, all that sort of stuff, if you want. If not, okay. Bye.